So Tuesday didn't work out because of technical difficulties and I don't have Danica today, but today I'm bringing one of your favorite people in. Hold on. <sighs> what am I doing here? Well, it's your turn today. Where's Danica? She's basking in the sun of Madrid. I'm Tamtu. And I'm the mysterious voiceover la 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 lady. There we go. Yesterday was another day of destiny revealing for Bungie on Twitch with the Prison of Elders event. After finishing the House of Wolves story missions, the arena mode becomes available to take a three-player fire team through a series of prisons with multiple waves. Players enter one of the four available prisons that week in which each challenge mode has objective-based rounds. The level 28 one can be repeated as often as you want with matchmaking, while the other three non-matchmaking prisons can only be cleared once each until the weekly reset. There's also rumors that the upcoming September super expansion codenamed Comet will be called The Taken King, as a trademark has been followed by Bungie lawyer Jim Chard, who's done the same for The Dark Below and House of Wolves, of which the latter will be out on May 19th. Can't wait! Also on the 19th, Farming Simulator 2015 adds a multiplayer mode. On PS4 and Xbox One, you'll be able to work as a team to manage a living farm with the most complete oh, farming experience. Someone added the uh, humor patch to the program. Ah, there we go. Nintendo has turned a profit as presented in their full year financial results for the first time since 2011. While the sales for handhelds and its software dipping in numbers despite launching the new 3DS, the console sales offset it somewhat with Wii and Wii U systems coming in at 36.1 million units sold. The report was rather vague about Amiibo sales with no direct numbers, but good for Nintendo in one-upping their way to profit again. You can stop being a jerk now because Riot Games is bringing back the Tribunal to League of Legends. After being closed last year, the company resorted to prehistoric chat restrictions and banning while upgrading the tribunal system. The three big issues with the democratic player-to-player -player judgment system was that it was focused entirely on punishments, moving too slowly, and only available in English. The tribunal will be rolling out again as early as this month. We're still mourning the loss of Silent Hills as are many of you. Over a hundred thousand of you to be exact. An online petition to the producing duo to bring the game back in development has to reach 150,000 signatures in order to try and bring the project back to life with the original creators Kojima and Del Toro. But considering the license remains with Konami, the road to Silent Hills might be bumpier than anticipated. Speaking of Konami, they've been teasing a very 80s-tastic logo about the Metal Gear Solid The 1984 Collection, which turns out to be a clothing line. If tactical espionage action is your fashion style, stay tuned with us to see whatever this is going to look like. Probably not as cool as my Foxhound shirt, but whatever. Mirror's Edge might be coming to systems in 2016. In a fiscal list of 2015 from EA, the fourth quarter highlights Mirror's Edge for console and PC. Originally, the game was revealed at E3 2013 as a new title in the franchise, but it looks like we'll be free-running with Faith once again next year in its first quarter. And lastly, after five years, a new Tony Hawk has been announced titled Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 and will be out later this year. Going back to the Pro Skater roots, you'll be able to perform stunts and power-ups using them to shoot projectiles. Anyway, several skaters will join the roster and with an initial release on PS4 and Xbox One, the game will follow soon after on PS3 and Xbox 360. And since we missed it last Tuesday, here's this week's loot list. Heads up to PS Plus and Xbox Live Gold members because here's what the Big Blue and Big Green have to offer you this month. PlayStation Plus members will be getting Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition and Ether 1 on PS4, The Unfinished Swan, Raise the Sun and Hohokun will be hitting PS4, PS3 and PS Vita, and Puzzler Murasaki Baby hits PS Vita. And over on Xbox Live Gold, Xbox One members get Castle Storm Definitive Edition and Pool Nation on Xbox One, and Classics Mafia 2 and Formula 2 2013 on Xbox 360. 
Also coming out this week is the Game of the Year edition of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor for Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker on 3DS and Wolfenstein The Old Blood on Xbox One and PS4 and PC. The Wii U gets some love as well with Space Hulk and High Strangeness, and last week's golf season continues with Vertiginous Golf on PC and Mac and Ultratron for Xbox One. And that's it for the loot. Let's tell us what you're playing this week in the comments below. And then there's the new thing you're working on. Should I talk about it now? Yes, you should, because it's your turn. Yep, it really is your turn, so we'd like to have you geek out and talk about game news that matter to you or something we might not have covered. There's room for that here now, so I'm Tam too. I'm the mysterious voiceover lady. And now for some of our friends in the team and community to show you how it's done. Na 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 bat girl Yes Last week they announced more stuff for the season pass for Arkham Knight and Batgirl I cannot handle that. I love Batman. I love girl. Fucking Batgirl. Yes! I'm so excited. They also announced new skins and things for the characters and I need to see them. Give me pictures. I cannot just like go from a mental image. Need pictures. Please give me more Batman Arkham Knight stuff. I like my my body is ready and so is my Batman PS4. The Heavensward expansion is almost here for Final Fantasy 14 and Square Enix has put out a benchmark to let players test the might of their PC with the new DirectX 11 supported client. Players will be able to create a character using the new Aura race and export their data into the game when it releases on June 23rd. Everyone's favorite company, EA, even though Konami is trying to get that title now, has announced their big event called Live to Play. I thought that was my personal motto, but whatever. So it's going to take place on June 15 and 1 p.m. PST. So mark your calendars because we're probably going to get some juicy details on some of the upcoming games from EA, such as Battlefront and, fingers crossed, Mass Effect 4 and many more. Okay, now back to you guys. It's a great time to be alive. 